Hello, welcome to my channel. This week's video, I'm doing two thrift flips. I was gonna do three, but I ran out of time because one of them is a way bigger project than anything I've ever done before. So yeah, let's just get into the video. <laughs> Okay, so these jeans, yes, they're really cute, but um, they don't fit incredibly. <laughs> they're a little bit tight, especially when I just, you know, like they fit just not great. It's like uncomfortable. Hi, okay, so my idea for these is I want to make a pleated skirt out of them and so I have to cut off where the crotch is and cut the pant legs in half to give room to make pleats for the skirt. Um, I didn't know how much denim I would need and this was probably the biggest issue for this little project. Um, at this point, I got here and I realized I did not have enough denim. It only did like a quarter of the skirt. So I got these new jeans. Also, sorry, I cut it in the wrong, I mean, <laughs> I filmed in the wrong format. I didn't do it sideways like normal. I'm very sorry. I, I forget a lot. Anyways, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just cutting the pant legs and making sure they're the same size and equal size and then i cut them in half and so on and so on and then um so i do think this was a good idea i've definitely never done something like this before and it was it was hard i yeah so here i am back in the normal format and again don't have enough denim I got this far and that even wasn't enough. So I'm gonna go with these green jeans and I'm just cutting them the same way. It, it was a lot of unpinning and repinning and unpinning and repinning. So at this point I have to undo all that I've already done except for one little section, but that doesn't really help much. So I have to undo a lot. But over the span of a couple days, it wasn't that big of a deal. Like I was saying a little bit ago, this was definitely a bigger project for me. And looking back, there's a lot I would do differently. But I think it was really interesting and cool to just jump right in, I guess. Because um, more, I think I'm normally more like timid to bigger projects. I just think I can't. So I'm really glad I tried it and I'll probably be doing more stuff like this. I already have some projects I've started. So yeah, also yes, I am on the carpet because I'm in the middle of a move right now. So <laughs> it's kind of difficult. I don't really have space to do things like this yet. And that's just how it is, but I'm working with it. I'm working with what I have and yeah. So now I'm just measuring all the little things I cut, making sure they're all the same size so it doesn't look weird on the skirt. And honestly, looking at it from this like perspective, it looks like it's gonna be short, but it actually was like the perfect length. It's a couple inches uh, shorter than my, I mean, above my knee and is past my fingertips. So that like <laughs> school, dress code thing it would pass that technically but i'm sure there i don't know maybe there'd be something wrong with it i don't know i, I don't think so because i obviously would wear this and i try to be more modest so yeah now i'm back to pinning together the things and like i said there's a lot of things i would do differently like i would tuck in the edges and then sew together all of these right at this point, but I didn't want to use the machine yet, which I I guess it makes sense, but still, I wish I did that instead of waiting 
till when I've already had it pinned on the skirt and already done most of the sewing. It was a little difficult to do it that way, but it wasn't too big of a deal. Now I'm back to pinning the skirt, I'm making the pleats. I've never made pleats before, so how I'm doing it is I'm, I, uh, I guess I'm just going with it. I'm folding it to the left and then just pinning it there. I don't know if there's a certain side you're supposed to pin it to or if it really doesn't matter. I don't know, but that's just... Yeah, <laughs> that's that. And you can see it's made quite a long little train of fabric because I don't think that's all of it. Oh wait, yeah, it is. Green is the last color. Yeah, that's just how it's... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what to say right now. It's, it's, yeah. I think... The pinning definitely took a while and it was a lot of accidentally poking myself in the process. Um, oh, we're finally on to the sewing part. And I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I'm not very professional in sewing yet. And yes, I was doing this on the floor. That is my foot. Anyways, I am not really professional at this at my like right now in knowledge and i don't really <laughs> this is hard to get out for some reason i'm not necessarily great at this but you know it is what it is now i'm fraying the edges just to give it um a more purposeful look that i didn't tuck in the edges um with this actually took forever because of how big the skirt was. I also did the sides and yeah. It did take a long time and this was the more time consuming one, but it is cute overall. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it. It turned out like a lot more poofy than I wanted. <laughs> the idea is kind of lost. It's supposed to be more of a pleated skirt than this. And there's so many different colors. Okay, so this top. I I really want to do this like early 2000. I actually have no idea when this was trending. I just remember doing it when I was little. So I'll put inspo pics right here. And I think it would look really cute on tie dye. I got brand new beads to do, you know. And then I stupidly packed it because I'm in the middle of a move. And so, <laughs> I guess I can't do beads. I'll figure something out. But yes, this is the B4. I'll try to show you the back. Okay, so this top, I really, like I said, I love that... I think early 2000s look. I haven't done this in quite a while. I mean, I actually did do it recently just to like practice, but you know, purposefully with it, the intent of wearing it. I don't know what I'm saying. Yes, my cat was being very annoying. <laughs> Walking right on what I'm doing. I'm surprised she doesn't get cut sometimes because she gets her face right in the way. Anyways, I really love this look. I do wish I cut up higher and did more of a design, but the other one took so long and I've just been really busy lately. Like I said, I'm in the middle of a move and I had a dance camp all last week 
Well, not all last week. All last week except for Friday. Anyways, and then I'm taking driver's education this week and next week. And everything's just so hectic and I just feel like I have not a lot of energy. So I'm sorry this video is getting to you later than planned. I just um, haven't had much time to edit and finish things up. So I'm really sorry about that. But yeah, so this shirt, I really love the idea of. I remember doing this when I got a shirt for like field day. I don't know if any of your schools did that, but when I was in elementary, um, that's what they did at the end of the school year, like the last day or last thing we did was a field day we would go out and they would give us all t-shirts for it so they could kind of like um keep us all together and i would do this with my mom so yeah <laughs> okay obviously not with the skirt but this is the top it just brings back so many memories i used to do this kind of thing a lot and i think this would be so cute in so many ways just with like a cute pair of mom jeans or even skinny jeans would be cute with je the. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it was enjoying, enjoying. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Yeah, that was this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next week, hopefully. But make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this and I'm sorry for the later upload this week. Things are just kind of busy and hectic with me moving and all. So thank you so much. Um, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.